These stories. Steve Humphrey, BBC South Today, Portsmouth. Look out for those pop-up museums and uh, more information on events planned in the run-up to the 80th D-Day anniversary. Just go to ddaystory.com. On to the weather now. You're going to get wet tonight. I know. Sounds You're going like to get it, so wet it? tonight. I know. Gee, don't smell should, too much. Let, should, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go and get some details from the weather oracle over here. Yes. Alexis. Heavy rain overnight tonight, Sally. I'll talk about that in just a second. But your lovely weather pictures. Uh, tracked under cloudy skies in Woodstock by Whiff, one of our weather watchers. And this is the Portsmouth to Fishbourne Ferry. You can see the fairly grey skies and also the blustery conditions we had through the course of today. Now, today we saw a wind gust at the needles of 54 miles per hour and elsewhere gusts of around 40 miles per hour. It's been a pretty blustery day. The winds will stay strong with that band of heavy rain arriving overnight tonight. That will eventually clear tomorrow in most places but may, may linger for the south coast and the Isle of Wight. We'll see a little bit of brightness in places but generally there will be large areas of clouds. So here's that band of rain skirting in overnight tonight moving its way south and eastwards clearing northern areas and cooler air will start to set in. For northern parts we could see a low of two to three Celsius but for the south coast Temperatures will be in high single figures, still lingering rain and mild conditions there. So we start the day tomorrow with some rain for some, but not for everyone. That rain will eventually sneak its way into the English Channel and stay there for a while. Elsewhere, quite a lot of cloud is expected, one or two brighter spells, but generally more cloud than sunshine. And temperatures will be a little bit lower than today, up to around 7 to 9 Celsius. So for the coastal forecast tomorrow from Selsey Bill to Lyme Regis, the winds on the inshore waters are east or northeast, three or four, variable three or less, then southeast and then veering southwest. So changing direction quite a lot as we head through the course of the day tomorrow. With it, we'll see some patchy rain or showers through the channel. Now, through the course of tomorrow night, that weather front that moves southwards makes a return and starts to move northwards. Now, you may have seen on the national weather for the parts of the Midlands and north, that rain band hitting the cooler air could turn to snow there. But for us in the south, it's just going to be rain. Maybe over the Chilterns, we could see a bit of wet snow, even the odd bit of sleet as well as that rain band tracks northwards. Temperatures tomorrow dropping to around three to seven Celsius during the overnight period. Here's the band of rain, snow for the north of the country. But for us, it is a band of rain and it will continue to go through the day on Thursday. So Thursday is quite a wet day with some brisk winds as well. Further showers on Friday, less showers on Saturday, maybe a bit of brightness and temperatures over the week weekend around, if not just above, the seasonal average. Sally. Alexis, thanks very much. Got a waterproof? No, that fleece isn't going to do Oh, for goodness sake, you're a sports no. presenter out and about and you haven't got your waterproof. I need to find yeah. one. I'll lend you a brolly. Tomorrow we have the tale of Squid the Penguin. You're not going to want to miss that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.